Hello everyone, in this video we are going to study about the human eyes, their structure, function and some of the eye diseases. The study of eyes is known as ophthalmology. The human visual system consists of image formation in which cornea and eye lens are involved. The exposure control involves iris, pupil and photoreceptor sensitivity. In detection, the retina is involved and rods and cones. And the human brain is involved in the processing of the images. Here are some of the main parts of a human eye. See theory muscles, iris, pupil, cornea, sensory ligaments, sclera, fovea, retina, choroid and optic nerve, eye lens, vitreous humor and aqueous humor. The human eye is a sensory organ in the visual system that reacts to visible light, allowing eyesight. Other functions include maintaining the circadian rhythm and keeping balance. The eye can be considered as a living optical device. It is approximately spherical in shape with its outer layers such as the outermost white part of the eye which is known as sclera and one of its inner layers known as choroid keeping the eye essentially light and tight except on the eye's optical axis. Now let's discuss the main function of each part of the eye. Cornea Cornea is a transparent covering at the front of the eye that refracts or bends light. Iris is a muscle that controls how much light enters the pupil. Eye lens is a transparent disc that changes shape to focus light into the retina. Retina is a layer of light receptor cells that detect light intensity and color. Optic nerve includes sensory neurons that carries electrical impulses from the eyes to the brain. The retina receives the image that the cornea focuses through the eye's internal lens and transforms this image into electrical impulses that are carried by the optic nerve to the brain. The curved surfaces of the eye focus the image onto the back surface of the eye. The image formed at the back of the eye using the cornea and the eye lens, the image formed is upside down and real. The junction of the retina and optic nerve where no sensory nerve cells are found is known as blind spot. No vision is possible at the blind spot. The outer wall of the eye is formed by hard white sclera. Cornea is a clear portion of the sclera. Two by third of the refraction takes place at the cornea. Iris and pupil Colored iris controls the size of the opening of the pupil where the light enters. Pupil determines the amount of light like the aperture of a camera. The iris relaxes in bright light whereas the iris contracts in dim light. When the iris is open, the pupil dilates and when the iris is closed, the pupil constricts. The antagonistic action of the muscles in the iris control the pupil diameter. There are radial and circular muscles in the iris. When one contracts, the other relaxes. In bright light, the pupil reflex decreases the diameter of the pupil. This decreases the amount of light that enters the eye. The circular muscles will contract and the radial muscles will relax. In bright light, the pupil will constrict or narrows to prevent too much light from entering the eye and damaging the retina. The iris relaxes in bright light. Whereas in the dim light, the pupil reflex increases the diameter of the pupil. This increases the amount of light that enters the eye. The circular muscles relax and the radial muscles contract. So, in dim light, what happens is that the photoreceptors will detect change in the environment, that is darkness. The radial muscles will start to contract. As a result, the circular muscles relax. 
the pupil dilates and the diameter of the pupil widens and more light enters the eye during darkness and here is a summary of light entering the eyes during darkness and in bright light in dim light the radial muscles contract and the circular muscles relax as a result the pupil is dilated and more light enters the eye in bright light the radial muscles will relax and the circular muscles will contract as a result the pupil is constricted and less light enters the eye Eye lens is made up of transparent fibers in a clear membrane. The lens is suspended by a suspensory ligament which attaches to a muscle known as ciliary muscle. The eye lens is quite flexible unlike a lens which is made up of glass. The ciliary muscles can actually change the shape of the back of the lens by flexing and this is how the lens is used to focus between near and far objects. Accommodation as we know that the suspensory ligaments attach the lens to the ciliary muscle, when the muscle contracts, the lens bulges out in the back, decreasing its focal length. The process by which the lens changes its shape to focus is called accommodation. Changing the shape of the lens alters the how much light is refracted. This is very important in making sure that light is focused on the retina of the eye rather than in the front or behind it. The contraction or relaxation of the ciliary muscles bring about the changes. When we focus on a distant object, our ciliary muscles relax, the suspensory ligaments are pulled tight and the lens is then pulled thin and only slight refra refracts the light rays. And when we have to focus on a near object, the ciliary muscles contract and the sensory ligaments loosen. The lens is then thicker and refracts light rays more strongly. Here is a summary of accommodation when the, we have to see the near object and when we have to see the distant object. When we are watching near objects, our ciliary muscles contract, but when we see distant objects, our ciliary muscles relax. Suspensory ligaments loosen when we see the near objects and suspensory ligaments tighten when we watch distant objects. The lens becomes fatter and thicker when we see near objects and it becomes thinner when we watch distant objects. Light is more refracted when we see the near objects and less refracted when we see distant objects. Now we will study about aqueous and vitreous humor. They are transparent gelatinous liquid filling the eye. They provide nutrients to the eye, cornea and eye lens. They also help to maintain the eyeball shape with its pressure. Retina. Retina is a photosensitive detector for the eye. Two types of receptors in the retina include rods and cones. Rods for low light level and cones for color. They are located at the center of the retina. Fovea contains a greater concentration of cones which detect color. Signals from the receptors leave through the optic nerve to the brain. Fovea contains greater concentration of cones and it is located as a hump in the retina. Optical nerves or light sensitive cells include cones and rods. Cones are sensitive to bright light and they sense color, whereas rods are sensitive to dim light and they help us to see during darkness. Rods are highly sensitive to low light conditions or scotopic conditions, whereas cones are sensitive to high light levels or photopic conditions. Rods are black and white, whereas cones are of three types, three types of uh, color vision. Rods are dispersed in the periphery of the retina, whereas cones are concentrated in the fovea. This include the cells of rods and cones include synaptic endings, cell nucleus, inner segments, and outer segments. So let's discuss common eye diseases such as cataract, which includes clouding of the eye lens. Symptoms include loss of vision and cure is lens replacement. 
glaucoma it is the pressure build up in the eye which damages the retina symptoms include loss of vision first in the periphery its cure is surgery to drain fluid from the eye and loss of vision is usually permanent detached retina it is the portion of the retina detaches from the back of the eye symptoms include perception of flashes or loss of vision cure is laser surgery to detach the retina pink eye pink eye is an infection of the surface of the eye symptoms include irritation and cure include antibiotics